Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download and install Bedrock add-ons on your server. We've also made a video on how to download add-ons on your clients, so if you're interested in seeing that, make sure to click the link in the description. First things first, you'll need to download an application called 7-Zip. This is because later on we're going to have to extract some files in order to upload them onto our server. You can download 7-Zip by going to this page, the link will be in the description. When you get there you'll see that at the top left there are three download options. We recommend clicking on the first or second download link. Since I have a 64-bit operating system, I'll be clicking on the 64-bit download link. If you're not sure what operating system you have, simply click the 32-bit download instead. That will immediately download a .x file. Double click it to open this window up. Here you can choose where you want 7-zip to be installed to and then press install. You'll know the installation is complete when it says 7-zip is installed. That's it, you're now ready to download some add-ons. In this video, I'm going to be going on mcpedl.com and browsing through the vast selection of add-ons. Once you find an add-on you like the look of, scroll down to the very bottom until you come across the downloads heading. The file names displayed below the downloads heading may vary from add-on to add-on depending on what the creator decides to title them. In most cases, there should be a behaviors and resources file for add-ons. Some may only have either the behaviors or just the resources because they only affect the behaviors or the resources. Sometimes the creator simply names it BP and RP. Don't worry, is this just stands for behavior pack and resource pack. It's the exact same as calling it behaviors and resources. All you have to do from there is click on the files individually to download them. Since the add-on I'm downloading requires both the behaviors pack and the resources pack, I'll be firstly clicking on the behaviors file. Usually, once you've clicked on a download, it redirects you to this page. Simply press the green text saying click here to continue. Afterwards, it may come up with an ad page, but all you have to do is scroll down and press free access to be sent to the correct page. In most cases, you'll end up on a Mediafire page. There, you should simply press the blue download button for your file to download. Since the add-on I'm downloading requires both the behavior pack and a resource pack, I'll be returning to the download page and clicking on the resources button. The process is the same. I'll press click here to continue and then press free access to be redirected. Lastly, I'll click the download button once more and the file will begin downloading. Once it's finished, it means we're now ready to upload the add-ons onto our server. For this step, you're going to have to head to the server.pro website and access your server's control panel. At the dashboard, make sure that in the server details section, the game is set to Bedrock Edition and the type is set to just Bedrock. Then make sure that the version is the latest version. This is important, otherwise issues could arise if the server is a different version to the add-ons. Ensure the server is offline before proceeding and then head to the files tab. When you get there, you'll see there's a behavior packs folder and a resource packs folder. This is because there are two types of add-ons. Firstly, resource pack add-ons. Those change what you can actually see in your game, such as visuals. Secondly, behavior pack add-ons. Those change how things behave and how they function in game. Depending on what add-ons you have downloaded, you'll want to drag the add-ons into the correct folder. In this case, I downloaded a Pokemon add-on that requires you to have the behavior pack and resource pack file downloaded for it to work. So so I'll firstly be going into the behavior packs folder, but you can't drag files into the folders if they are in the .mc pack or .mc add-on format like these add-ons are. They need to be in a folder format for them to work and to change them into the folder format you'll have to extract them. To do that you have to click on the arrow next to the file and then show in folder. When the files explorer window pops up, you can then right click the minecraft add-on file and open with 7-zip file manager. That'll pop up with a 7-zip window. All you have to do from there is click on the extract icon at the top, choose a location where you want the file to be extracted to and then press ok. Afterwards, head to the area where the file was extracted to and as you can see, the file is now a folder. Quickly double click that folder and check that the folders inside are similar to these on the screen. If it has just one folder inside, you will have to extract it to get the correct file. This is because if there are folders within folders, once you upload them onto the server, the add-ons won't work. If it has all the folders you can see on the screen though, you can drag it onto the server's behavior packs folder and wait for it to upload. 
Since the add-on I downloaded also requires the resource pack file to be uploaded, I'm gonna go back and open up resource packs. Once again, I'll click on the arrow next to the resource pack add-on file and show in folder. I'll right click and open with 7-zip once more and then I'll extract the file. When that's done, I'll go to where the file was extracted to and drag the folder into the resource packs folder on the server. Now that we've uploaded the add-ons we want onto the server, we have one last thing to do in order for the add-ons to actually show up in game. We have to create a couple necessary files, so back on the files tab you should look for a folder named worlds. Then open up your world folder, mine's called bedrock level so I'll be opening that up. All you have to do then is hover over the create button at the top right and select file. For the file name at the top, make sure it says world underscore behavior underscore packs dot json. Then in the body of the file, paste this text in. We'll be leaving this text for you to copy into your file in the description, but when that's done, simply press create file. Now we have to do the same thing for resource packs. Create a new file once more and now name it world underscore resource underscore packs dot json. In the body of the file, paste this text in once more. In both files, next to pack ID, it says UUID here, and next to version, it says version number here. This means you have to type in the ID and versions of the add-ons we're using so they show up in game. To do that, you have to go back to the files tab. Afterwards, open up the behavior packs folder and open the add-on folder you dragged in earlier. There you'll see a file named manifest.json. Open that file up and you'll see it has a similar format to the files we just created. All you need to do is find the line saying UUID and copy the text inside the quote marks. Below you'll also see there's a version number. Quickly note down the number shown there as we'll need to use that in just a second. Once more, go back to the files tab, open the worlds folder, then the bedrock level folder and head into the world behavior packs JSON file. Where it says UUID here, you want to delete that text and paste the text we just copied instead. Underneath that, replace the text with the version number you just noted down. When you've done that, make sure to save file and go back into the files tab as we're going to have to do the same thing for resource packs. Open the resource packs folder and then the add-on folder you dragged in earlier. If you scroll down, you'll find the manifest.json file yet again. Once you're in that file, you want to copy the UUID and make a note of the version number. Back on the files tab, open up the worlds folder, then the bedrock level folder, and lastly, the world resource packs JSON file. Paste the ID you just copied into the quote marks and make sure to write in the version number. Before proceeding, save the file and quickly turn on the server to make sure the changes take effect. Over on the console tab, you'll be able to see that the server is booted up if it says server started. You'll know that everything is running smoothly if there are no errors on screen. If there are errors, make sure to contact our support team as we'll be happy to help you out. However, now we want to double check that the add-ons are showing up in game. To do that, you'll want to head to the dashboard and copy the host name. Then open up your Minecraft Bedrock game. Press play and head to the service tab. Scroll down until you find the add server button and click it. When this menu pops up, paste the host name you copied in the server address section. For the server port section, you want to go back to the dashboard and copy the port at the bottom. Paste that port into the menu and the last thing you have to do is name the server. You can name it whatever you want here, but when you join the server, you'll be able to check for yourself if your add-ons are showing up. I can tell the resource pack is working because my hotbar has changed to the Pokemon add-on textures. I can also see Pokemon roaming the world so I know the behavior pack has taken effect. If for some reason your add-ons aren't showing up, it may be because you missed a step in the tutorial so make sure to go back and refollow them. Well that's it for this video, if you have any questions make sure to leave them down below and if you enjoyed this video subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching!